cashless in general is used everywhere. People are using it at Starbucks, people are using it to pay each other through Venmo and things like that. And next it'll be in casinos. It's kind of a new frontier. Acres 4.0 has been fine-tuning a solution for years. In terms of gaming, we have online sports, we have online poker, but we, what we don't have right now is a way to get that money to the slot machine. Their hardware now in high demand. We're getting uh, probably four or five different casinos contacting us every day about upgrading to cashless and what that would look like. No more cash, no more cards. Any casino can plug it directly into their slot machine. Everything you need to test your luck at a slot machine or a table game will be right here on your phone. We can facilitate a, uh, uh, a cash transaction with the slot machine through a mobile app that also doubles as the player's card. So you are getting rid of the player card in, in a lot of respects. Acres expected to see cashless gaming become a reality in five years. But now, with COVID-19, more people are wanting to uh, gamble without cash. Uh, more casinos are wanting to prevent their employees from handling cash. Uh, and the regulators want to facilitate this as well. So we're really seeing a lot of uh, operators and regulators and even customers contacting us saying that they want cashless gaming and they want it soon. While they work to fulfill a backlog of orders. Acres says the sudden demand doesn't mean you'll see it first thing once casinos reopen. The cashless is going to take a little bit, whether it's months or a year or so, it's going to take a little bit to uh, really be widely deployed. Uh, just because it has to be installed, it has to be, uh, you know, there's training involved, there's regulation involved. But they do believe it's a change that'll stick around for good. There's a lot of barriers that have to be knocked down to install it, but those barriers are identified and they're being taken down pretty rapidly. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.